any company that takes responsibility instantly fixes the problem. I don't care where they're from. That's very commendable because let's face it, a lot of companies don't do that. How's it going, internet? I am going to answer a question that I have received. I can't even count how many times. What makes Watt Cycle so tough that I was okay with throwing a 200 amp battery down a hill? Why is there a bunch of videos from Watt Cycle showing that their batteries can do it? So right here is battery bank that is going in the van. I'll give you a close up look of that. And these are just the Watt Cycle mini 100 amp hour batteries. They're not Bluetooth because I'm going to be monitoring them separately. So I really don't care if they're Bluetooth. But there are many videos out there showing that Watt Cycle can hit their number. Many videos that I suggest you look at of the Mini and the Mini Bluetooth Smart Mini, as they call it, hitting the number that they hit. But if I open this up, and again, I'm going to show you a close up. As you can see, there is a full metal cage holding the cells. The BMS is fully protected. Unlike many other brands, these are not soldered leads to the BMS battery management system, if you're wondering what that means and they are unbelievably strong. If you go to the 200, it has the exact same thing. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is, if you go over to Watt Cycle's YouTube channel, and you look up the shorts, they have a bunch of, I think it's 20 amp hour batteries. They're kicking them downstairs, they're doing all that. Now those use cylindrical cells. And I'm going to show you, even with that, this is a competitor's battery. And as you can see, there is nothing holding the cells together other than the spot welded connections. They just use glue. So these can actually separate and move rub against each other. If you're using them in a house, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using them like we do, and they're going to get bounced around and thrown around and all sorts of stuff. Well, if we look at the 20 amp hour battery from Watt Cycle and we look at how they hold the cells, you'll notice that they actually have holders that are holding individual cells plus they're spot welded. So even the 20 amp hour is set up to be very strong. I understand that a lot of people are maybe using batteries in their houses, and but that's not what we're doing on this channel. As many of you have pointed out, we are kind of doing things a little different because we're worried more about strength. If the battery hits what it's supposed to hit, then strength is what we care about. Like I said, they're going to be in the back of a vehicle. They're going to get bounced around. They have to be able to take it. And there are a lot of batteries out there that cannot take it. So with that being said, I want to talk a little bit about Watt Cycle because some people just aren't really sure. Watt Cycle even uses EVE cells or EVE cells, which are probably some of the best on the market. They usually overperform majority of the time. Now, if you remember, there was some controversy about their 300 amp mini, but there again, there's a bunch of videos that show it hitting 300 amp hours. Either way, Watt Cycle recognized that there were problems and they instantly fixed it. So for those of you that are saying, oh, they're a Chinese company, they're this, they're that. And why are you so involved with them? Well, the truth is any company that takes responsibility instantly fixes the problem. I don't care where they're from. That's very commendable because let's face it. A lot of companies don't do that ever. They'll, the last thing they'll do is admit that they were wrong about something. Usually they blame the person who's testing it and so on. Oh, with some of the inverter tests, you guys have seen me use their shunt and this is the watt cycle shunt again perfectly has taken a ton of power through it has never had a problem i understand the world as far as the tariffs are kind of hit or miss on what's going on watt cycle made an open statement about the tariffs and how they're trying to keep the cost as low as they can their full mission is to give you quality at the best price and that's not just a saying that is really what they're trying to do because they could easily go with a crappier cell or they could take the caging out of it they could easily do that but they don't they really are striving to be one of the better batteries in the market and speaking with them they have been nothing but honest and they have listened what feedback i've had and what others have had about their product and they have switched it up they have a new battery that just came out before you guys ask, I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen it in person. I'm pretty sure they still probably have the caging in it. I don't know. I will try to find that out for you. But right now they're all on back order because they're having just as much problem with things as we are in some respects. So for right now, the price is inevitable that most likely they will go up and some of them already have gone up. But I really wanted to answer the question that has been repeatedly asked. So far, I have not had any failures. I've not had any problems whatsoever. We are more focused on the outdoor off-road side of things 
So you will never see like a server rack battery on this channel. There are many other channels that will show stuff like that and that's fine, but that's just not what we're doing. I would never use a server rack battery in any sort of vehicle to be honest with you. They're just not meant to do that. They're meant more to be in a home use scenario. So with all that being said, hopefully this answers the question, gives you a little bit more insight to Watt Cycle as a company and in their battery. And as always, we do not take affiliates, commissions, nothing. We do not make any money off of anything you buy by any link we supply. And that includes sponsors. We think all sales should stay between the company and the customer, which is why we can say, buy it, don't buy it, doesn't matter to us. You all have a good one. I'm your huckleberry.